Hello and welcome to this video review of Video XQ. And I made that introduction with Video XQ. Video XQ cost me $37, which I paid for myself. This is an independent video and not a sponsored video. And I've already done a few projects. Now this could be the perfect software for explainer videos, but there are some buts. So let's get into it. So if I go to my videos, I'm going to load this channel trailer and I'm going to go to edit it. And we can see here we've got layers. We can see down this sidebar, there are things we can add. And if we click here, we can see the timeline. So it is a timeline based explainer video. And we can see here, this is my channel trailer. Images and objects come in and then we've got some text. The first thing is the background. Now this background is all the way down here and the background is quite snazzy let's look at it just before anything comes in so if i go to backgrounds um, i can upload a video i can search within pixabay or i can go to the sort of vsl library which is backgrounds and there are loads of good backgrounds and they're animated backgrounds i can also search for images and these are my images, or I can use stock images, which is Pixabay integration, or I can just add a color. So that's the background. I can add text and it comes with sort of these presets of heading, paragraph, etc. So I'm just gonna click on this text because this is um, my heading. So you just type your text in, you've got your alignment tools up here. You can add a background color and I added white and you can add shadows and stuff and you can add borders now let's say you want to animate something you click up here and you've got in animations and exit animation so you just pick whatever one you want and it will start and it will do animations that's great isn't it so we can go and add images and you'll see i've added an image here we've got graphics as well so this is one i uploaded myself and we've got this library and what's nice which you don't normally get in this type of software is you can search across all the categories so we might want to do photo so let's search across that and i've got people with phones taking photos so all i need to do is click add and it adds and like anything i can reposition it on the screen and i can increase it in size there are also animations and these are just things that animate so let's pick these things are quite good here. They're called picture in picture. So these are really useful for explainer videos. So let's add that. It doesn't appear to be doing anything, but if we preview it, we'll get to see what it does. So you can click on preview and you can see how it would animate. So they're gonna be quite good for explainer videos. I'm gonna delete that. That's all very good. And we've got our layers here and we can go and move things about and we can reposition things and we can make things longer and shorter the, well that's the good things with video xq and now i'm going to talk about the bad things so we've got audio and again it's great to see we've got audio now you can record audio so you can do a voiceover so here's something i recorded this is audio recorded through the browser and so you just click here and you just talk into your microphone and it records it. You can go and upload your audio and apparently you can do text to speech. Now this is where things start to fall down because I can't get text to speech to work. I initially used this in Chrome and I couldn't even log in in Chrome. I think I logged in once and then every time I tried since I couldn't log in. So this is actually in Edge browser and in Chrome, in Safari and in Edge, I can't get the text to speech to work, not at all. We've also got included music, but you don't know what's a music, what's music and what's a sound effect. So this, I think, is a sound effect. Excellent. So if I go and add that, we've got our zipper here. But I can I can move it and I can shorten it, which is good because I added an effect here and this was a very short effect and there was no way I could move that. So I can move this one, but I can't move this one. And this is like a bing noise. Let's listen to it. It's like a pop, but I can't move it to where I want to. So there's no way I can get it in the right place. If we go back to audio, 
We've got some really odd things like this one minute English. Hi guys, welcome back to One Minute Wednesdays, the video. Now why would anyone want to stick that in? So it's really difficult to work out what's music and what sound effects. It's nice that you get sound effects, but sometimes you just want to add music. So here's some music. If I go and add it, it will say something strange. It will say I need to increase my project duration. So that's really not very good. So audio is a huge disappointment. So we can also do some AI generation. So what we can do is we can type in some descriptions, some targets, unique selling points, and we can generate an AI script. All you do is you get a script. You don't, you can't really do anything with it. It doesn't input and automatically create any explainer videos. It's just an AI script. So they're just jumping on the AI bandwagon. That's fine by me. If we click add a scene, I can't see that anything happens. If I go to the end of my timeline, I'm not going into another scene. I yeah. If I go on layers, I can move things about, which is useful. And if I click resize, I can pick square or portrait and it's resized it for me. I wouldn't expect everything to sort of sync and stuff. That would be asking too much. So I'm going to go back here. What we can do is we can render the videos and there's absolutely no problem with rendering the videos. They work. If we go to templates, there are some templates we can use. I would probably just start blank rather than use a template. One of the big problems is I can't get this to work in Chrome. I can't get the TTS to work. There are certain things that I can't move about and that stops it being really good software. If those things weren't there, I would thoroughly recommend this for $37. It would be a great explainer maker for $37. Get loads of assets. You've got full control over everything. You've got animations in, animations out, but those problems with the audio, like the text to speech not working and not being able to move certain sound effects and not being able to add back background music you're not going to have um, an explainer video it's going to be two or three minutes long to match a piece of music that's just not going to happen so unfortunately these little gripes really put me off this software anyway i hope you found this useful and thank you for watching